Can you do this? Breathing deeply into the belly and into the chest. Soft and gently the expression on the face. Breathe deep and slow. Take this few moments to experience the weight of your body as it rests on the mat, on the ground. Starting with the experience of your back, the back of your ribcage. Shoulder blades against the back, against the mat. Feeling the movement of the lower back toward the mat as you inhale deeply into the belly. Give yourself a few moments to rest your back. Become aware to the expression on your face. Become aware to the way you close your eyes and soften the way you close your eyes. Trying to keep the mouth softly open. As you try to deepen your inhalations to the belly, expand the belly. Trying to breathe deeply but slowly, feeling the rhythm of your breath. Try to make this rhythm of breathing slow but deep. Feeling the feet and the toes. Feeling the calf, the knee. And with the exhalation, allow them to sink, allow them to relax. Thighs and buttocks, pelvis and waist. While breathing to the belly deeply, try to feel the thighs and the buttocks, the pelvis and the waist. And with a long exhalation, allow them to sink, to relax. The better we will be able to feel those parts of the body as we breathe feeling of relaxation and flow of energy to those parts that arise. The better and deeper they will be able to relax. Breathing deeply into the belly and into the 
ce... And with the exhalation, slowly relax your abdominal muscles. Relax the muscles of your chest. Again, deeply into the belly and into the chest. And relaxing the internal organs, allowing them to sink and gently press against your back. Feel a deep relaxation in belly and chest. Low back, middle back and upper back. Trying to breathe deeply into the belly and into the chest while you feel your back. And with the exhalation, allow the lower back to relax. Middle and upper back, the back of your rib cage. Allow it now to sink deeper into the mat. Feel the weight of your arms as they press up against the ground. Feeling the elbows and the forearms. The palms and the fingers. Allow the arms to fall asleep. Relax the arms, the palms and the fingers. Relax. Le vertebras of the neck and muscles of the neck. Vertebras of the neck and muscles of the neck. Relax. Feel as the vertebras of the neck are gently sinking down toward the mat. And as they relax, feel the back of your head pressing a little bit more against the mat, sinking into the softness of the mat behind you. Skull and the forehead, the eyes and the lips. Relax. Relaxing your brain, relaxing the mind, 
the thinking process. Relax. Inhale deeply and exhale. Inhale deeply and exhale. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation gently and slowly move the feet and toes. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation slowly move the palms and the fingers. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation slowly close the gap between the legs. And with a deep inhalation, extend the arms over the head and stretch. Stretching from toes to fingers. With the exhalation, slowly to the right side, we'll come up to sitting with cross legs. Place your arms straight on your knees in chin mudra, index finger and thumbs together. Feel the head as if it's being pulled up toward the sky. Feel your thighs, your buttocks, your calf and your feet heavily sinking down into the mat. With every inhalation, feel how you're gently pushing your base into the ground. And your head is rising up toward the sky. With the exhalation, just relax where you are. Relax the expression on your face. Sahanam Bhavati, Sahanam Gunati, Sahanaviyam Kavavaiti, Jajuna Vadhi Tamasti, Mahavati Shavahe, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You place the arms to the side of your body. With the deep inhalation, raise the right arm through the right side, all the way up. As you try to touch your right ear with the upper arm or shoulder. With the exhalation, bend the right elbow and try to touch the top of your spine with the tip of finger. With the deep inhalation, raise the left arm to the left side. With exhalation, bend the elbow and grab the right elbow. With inhalation, pull the right elbow up with the left fingers. And with exhalation, try gently to slide with your fingers along your upper back, down toward your middle back. A deep inhalation, try to lift and open the right side, raising the right elbow higher. And with exhalation, pull 
pull gently the right elbow as you are sliding down with your fingers along your back. Try to push the head back against the arm, against your right arm. Inhale, try to open your chest. Pull the right elbow and exhale slowly. Try to slide down along your back. Try to feel you're going along your spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull down. Try to lean the head back. And breathe to belly and chest. Inhale deeply. Exhale, one. Inhale deeply. Exhale, two. Inhale deeply. Exhale, three. Inhale deeply. Exhale, four. Inhale deeply. Exhale, five. Inhale, raise the left arm up. Exhale, take it down to the left side. Inhale, raise the right arm up. And exhale, take it down to the right side. Hold the knees with your palms and round the back as you sink back as far as you can. But keep holding the knees as you stretch your back by bringing the belly and chest in and chin to the chest. Open your back. Feel the difference between the sides of your back. Good. Stay there for a few moments. Breathing to the belly. Stretching the back. And with a deep inhalation, slowly pull yourself forward again and bring the arms to the side of your body again. Open the mouth, soften the expression on your face, arms to the side of the body, palms on the ground. And with a deep inhalation, we slowly raise the left arm up, all the way up to the side, reaching forward. Far, elongating to the sky, trying to touch your left ear with the left upper arm or shoulder reaching through the fingers. Exhalation, bend the left elbow and try to touch your upper back with the fingers. The spine, this big, huge vertebra of the upper back, the first vertebra of your thoracic spine. With a deep inhalation, raise the right arm through the side and up. And with exhalation, bend the right elbow and with the right palm, grab the left elbow. With a deep inhalation, lift the left elbow up, pulling it to the right. And with the exhalation, try to slide with your left fingers down along your back along your spine. Again, a deep inhalation. Try to lift and pull the left elbow to the right side and up. And with exhalation, try to slide. Again, inhale, belly, chest, pull. And exhale, slide. Inhale, try to lean back against your left arm. Try to open your chest and go to the belly. Now, deeply and exhale. One. Inhale deeply. Try to open the chest and exhale. Two. Inhale deeply and exhale. Three. And deeply, and exhale. Four, inhale deeply, and exhale. Five, inhale, raise the right arm all the way up to the sky. And exhale, take it down through the side, back to the ground. Inhale, raise the left arm all the way up. And exhale, take it down to the left side, back to the ground. 
Bring the palms to the knees, inhale deeply, and with exhalation, round the back and sink far back, stretching your back. Take all the air out, squeeze the belly, chest in, chin to chest, open your back, stay back there and breathe to the belly. Breathe to the belly. Try to feel how you gently open your back. Wonderful. A deep inhalation, we move forward and try to bring vertebra by vertebra in. Low back in, pulling yourself forward by pulling the knees, middle back in, and try to bring the shoulder blades in. Gently look up as you push the chest forward, pressing the middle back inside as you pull the knees Look gently up as you open the chest. Good. With exhalation, slide forward with the arms in front of your body, keeping the buttocks on the ground as you slide far forward and down. Slide with the arms forward in front of your body. All the way forward and down gently. Allow the head to sink, stretching the neck. Try to reach far with your fingers, don't strain your lower back. And try to walk far with your fingers away from your body, on the ground. Walk with the fingers on the ground, far away from your body. Stay and breathe deeply, as deep as you can, but if you can't breathe deeply, which is completely understood in this position, since you are breathing to your back, and there's more tension there, try to breathe slowly. Discovering the tension in the back. Slowly through the side, bring the arm, big movement, left arm to the left side, right arm to the right side, as you take the arms to your lower back, palm facing up, as you drop the arms down. Slowly allow the arms to drop down to the mat, the back of the palms around your hips, your head falling down, your shoulders falling down. Inhale deep and exhale. Basically like child pose and cross legs. Allowing the upper body to fall down. Feel the tension that holds you. Tension in your back, in your neck, in the groin area. Become more and more aware. Wonderful. Slowly interlock the fingers on the lower back. Roll the shoulders back as much as you can. Roll the shoulders and stretch the arms and try to lift them up and over your head. Inhale deep. Exhale one. Inhale deep. Exhale two. Inhale deep, exhale three. Good. Slowly release and relax the arms back down. Keep the body leaning forward as you bring the arms back through the side and in front of your body, over your head. Walk out with the fingers far and feel the difference in your body. Slowly, slowly walk back with your palms, slowly, slowly, as you come back to sitting, bring the back of your palms to your knees and rest, open the mouth, close the eyes, and just feel the difference in your sitting, allow the body to breathe, 
feel the effect on your body. We slowly move to table stands, head and buttocks up, head and buttocks in, cat cow. Try to feel the difference in your back. Feeling the knees right under the hips. It means that your thighs are 90 degree angle with the mat. Your palms are as well 90 degree angle unless there is too much pressure on the wrist. And then you move them forward and open the angle. But other than that, your arm and knees, thighs are 90 degree angle. Now when you inhale, I want you to try to move vertebra by vertebra in. So feel the low back. Usually in the cow, when you do head and buttocks up, you break the lower back, and there is no real movement in mid-upper back. I want you, if you need to, yeah, bend the elbows, as you try to push and squeeze the back in. Not just bending the elbows, but really squeezing the back in, middle back, upper back. When you round, try to feel the lower back more. But when you inhale, you see, Lower back goes in, but nothing really happens along the rest of your back. So try to bend the elbows a little bit and squeeze. This is the middle back, at the beginning of the rib cage. And then you continue and try to bring it in, shoulder blades in, so you really feel the back. It doesn't matter if you can't bring it in a lot, but the, point, the main important thing is that you feel you apply pressure against the mid upper back. So a few moments as you round and out, try to feel how you're moving your back, feel the difference between the shoulder blades, yeah, body's left shoulder back a little bit, feel the right shoulder blade. And exhale. The left elbow going out to the side, try to keep the left elbow in. This will allow you to squeeze the left shoulder blade in more. Try to feel any differences in the body. Try to make sure your fingers are aligned, your knees are aligned. Because otherwise you will, if you have differences in the body, we will increase them instead of diminishing them. Shoulders away from the ears. Emphasize in the side that you feel more tight. Oh. Wonderful. Next inhalation, table stands, head and buttocks up, bringing the toes in, flexing the foot. Good. Look up first, shoulder blades all the way inside, and keeping the head up and your back squeezed in as you push back to down dog, very slowly, disconnecting the knees and pushing back. Try not to shift the weight to the arms, Try to shift the weight back. Try not to straight your legs if it rounds your back. Bend the knees, stretch your arms, and try to align your back or even feel that you're bringing your back in like in the cow. The head goes in, try to keep your neck aligned with the upper back. Stretch the out and try to feel it and try to squeeze your back in. 
Good. Head slightly in, neck extension to the back. Wonderful. Stretch the arms out. Very nice. Inhale, we move forward to the plank pose, push up position, but try to push yourself off the ground as much as you can with your palms. Putting distance from the ground as much as you can. You can walk forward with your palms a little bit, so they will be under the shoulders. And then exhalation, you keep pushing yourself off the ground, go back to down dog. Keep pushing yourself off the ground as you go back to down dog. With the same feeling of the plank, pushing yourself off the ground. Inhale, come back to the plank, push up position, and try to push yourself away from the mat as much as you can. Yeah, better you also bring the palms forward a little bit. And try to push off the mat, don't sink to the mat. Try to push off the mat. Here, resist me. Push off. That's it. More, more, more. And with this feeling, go to down dog. Now go back with this pushing. Wonderful. And again, inhale. Try to come up off the mat as far as you can. Try to feel your chest is miles away. Push more and down dog again. And continue. You go down dog and up dog. But every time you try to push your body off the mat as much as you can, as you open your shoulders, open the upper back, Work, push up, push, push, more, resist, resist, push, and go back. Okay, before I lose you, inhale, move forward to the push-up, plank pose, and then slowly, slowly bring the body down to the mat to lie on your belly. Good, look to your left. Extend the arms to the sides. Creating a T-shape on your belly. Looking to your left. Raise the left leg. Walk out gently with the right fingers as you slowly, slowly roll on the right arm. So raise the leg and take it slowly to the right as you're rolling slowly on your right side while walking out gently with the right fingers until you feel you're bringing deeply in the right shoulder blade against your back. And here try to open the chest out. Open the out, belly and chest. Try to open the belly and the chest. Breathe into the belly and chest. Keep the mouth softly open. Breathe deep, trying to open belly and chest. Breathe deep into the belly, but try to push the chest forward with every inhalation. Soften the expression on the face. Feel out the right side of your chest, the upper part of your chest is opening up. Great. Slowly, slowly roll back. Slowly. Look to your right. And wait for a moment or two. Relax. Open the mouth and feel the difference between the sides of your back. Keep the mouth softly open and breathe. Slowly raise the right leg, roll gently on the left side as you're taking the right leg to the left side. Slowly as walking out with the left fingers, rolling on the left arm, bring the left shoulder blade against your back. Again, try to breathe deep into the belly 
you can bend the right elbow and use the right palm to help you gently in pushing your body a little bit further. You can gently bend the right elbow and push, trying to lift the chest and open the chest even more. Breathe deep. Try to feel how you open the left side of your chest. Breathe deep to the belly and chest. Try to push your back in. <clears throat> Breathe deep and slow. Breathe deep and slow. Trying to open your chest with every inhalation. Wonderful. Slowly, slowly we roll back to land the belly. Feeling the difference in the body. Bringing the palms under the shoulders and slowly, slowly push yourself back to cat stretch. Extend the child pose, buttocks to the heels, stretch the arms far over the head, forehead to the ground. Inhale deeply and slowly, slowly come up to sitting in Vajrasana Zen pose with a round back, as slow as you can, round back. Feel how you're pulling yourself, but sit on the heels, Vajrasana Zen pose. Back of the palms to the thighs, try to open the chest and feel the shoulder blades against the back. Open the mouth. And relax. Give yourself a few moments. To feel. Feel the movement of the energy in the body. Feel the movement of the body. Try not to react and just gently to watch. To be aware to what's happening. With a deep inhalation, we open the arms through the side and all the way up and over the head, both arms. As you press the palms together as high as you can over the head, and if you can, a little bit behind the line of the body. Stretch the arms up to the ceiling. Don't interlock the fingers in any way. Just press the palms and try to extend up. Again, inhale and try to reach up to the sky. Try to stretch your elbows and try to reach with the fingers up to the sky. Don't push the head forward. Move round your back, try to open up. Inhale deeply up, reach through. Try to open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades in, lean back with your head, reach up. Wonderful. Exhalation, palms together in front of the chest in Namaste. Slowly, try to keep the shoulder blades against your back. Namaste is not to round your back, to keep your chest open as you bring the palms in front of the center of your heart. A deep inhalation, we extend the arms forward as we come up to standing on the knees with arms to the sky. Posture number two of the small sun salutation. Arms up as your body rises on the knees. Stretch the fingers up to the sky. Stretch, stretch, stretch the arms. Stretch your arms. Tuck the tailbone in. Try to feel that you're pushing the tailbone between the legs, forward between the legs, and then you press the tailbone, the tailbone, don't run the back, the tailbone, and then press the lower back in, the middle back in. Remember from the cat cow, upper back in, 
and try to bend back in an even way. Yeah, like in the cat cow, middle back inside and upper back inside as you stretch your arms mm -hmm. open your chest. Exhalation, stretch the arms out as you round the back. And go down like a big tidal wave to table stance, head and buttoxin. Don't bring the palms too close to the knees. Table stance, more open, a little bit more. With inhalation, head and buttocks up as you bring lower back in, middle back in. Upper back in, shoulder blades in. Exhalation, the down dog, like we did before. Trying to feel how you move your spine in. Vertebra by vertebra. Don't round your back. Don't round the back. Bend the knees. Bend the knees and push back. Push back. Good. Stretch your back. Good. A deep inhalation, we're moving forward to push-up position. Remember, as far as you can, off the mat. Push yourself off the mat. Push. And bring the pelvis into the space you created between the palms. Pelvis forward, up dog, slowly as you keep pushing yourself off the mat. With the palms, stretch out, pelvis forward, and again, climb along your spine. Climb along your spine. Don't only break the lower back. You need to climb and feel the pressure going along the mid-upper back. Exhale, down dog again. As you try to keep the spine gently in. And feel the movement along your back as you try to push yourself off the mat. Very intensive, I know. But stretch out. A deep inhalation slowly as you shift the weight forward to the palms. Bring the knees down. Bring the lower back in, upper back, middle back in, upper back in. Into the cow. Table stance. Exhale, round the back. Cat. And go back to the cat stretch. Back up to the heel. Stretching the arms. Out. And then with a deep inhalation, rise up on the knees and then rise up on the knees, standing on the knees, arms to the sky. Eleven, tuck the tailbone in, try to push the tailbone in between the legs and then climb along your spine. Climb along the spine as you go back. A little bit too more strong. Try to push the weight back. Stretching the thighs up. Going back, 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 back. Stretching the thighs up. Good, 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 good. And sit down slowly. The buttocks touch in the moment the palms touch together in front of the chest. Open the mouth. Ah, feel the intensity of the practice. Relax. Try not to force yourself into the open chest, but try to feel how it happens. Don't try to force the shoulder back, shoulder blades against the back. Let it happen. Feel it gently. Feel the head up into the sky. Lift it up. Let's do another round, a little bit more flow. Exhale, take all the air out. And then with the deep inhalation, extend the arms forward and up to stand on the knees. Tuck the tailbone in and vertebra by vertebra go in. Exhale, round the back into the table, stand, set and buttocks in. Inhale, head and buttocks up. Toes in, exhale, down dog. Try to keep your back gently in. You stretch and push yourself off the mat. Wonderful. Inhale, push up. Plank pose off the mat as much as you can. Put, give space to yourself to push the pelvis forward and look up to the sky as you bring the spine in. Up dog. 
Try to keep the ball of the foot and palms only on the ground. Try not to touch the ground with the knees or thighs as you move the spine in. If it's too much pressure, you can bring the knees down. But if not, yes, good. Slowly push back to the down dog. Push, bend the knees in order to keep your back straight. Very nice, looks great. Inhale, knees down as you shift the weight forward to the palms and head and buttocks up. Feel the spine, round the back and take the toes out as you exhale and continue back to the cat stretch. Stretching the arms far over the head. Take all the air out and with a deep inhalation with the round back, come up on the knees, raise the arms to the sky, tuck the tailbone in and feel the wave that goes along your back, lower back, middle back, upper back. Try to shift the weight far back as you open the chest, open the mouth. Five, four, three, stretch the arms, two, and sit down, palms together in front of the chest. Give yourself a few moments again. Try to feel the chest comfortably open. Open the mouth to allow your chest to breathe. Wonderful. A little bit more flow. Inhale to extend the arms forward and up. Back tailbone in, bend back. Exhale, three, round the back, table stand, head and buttocks in. Inhale, head and buttocks up, toes in. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high off the mat into the push up and continue to the up dog as one motion. Pelvis forward, climb along your back. And exhale, down dog. Very nice. Inhale, knees down, and then buttocks up. Exhale, round the back, take the toes out, and get stretched. A deep inhalation up into the sky, low back in. First tailbone in, then low back in, middle back in, upper back in, as you gently bend evenly back. And exhale, palms together in front of the chest, open the mouth. Very nice. Two, inhale. Three, exhale. Four, inhale, look up. Five, down dog, exhale. Six, up dog, one motion, push forward. Seven, down dog. Stay. Walk back with your palms. Step by step, shifting the weight to the legs. Until all the weight is on the legs and you hold the elbows with the palms. Bend the knees slightly and pull the elbows down toward the ground. Relax the head. Try to feel with every exhalation you are pulling the elbows down toward the ground and trying to open your back as you breathe. With the inhalation, gently try to push your feet, your heels into the ground, trying gently to straighten your legs without forcing. Exhalation, pull the elbows down, straight down toward the ground, pulling your upper back. With the inhalation, try gently to straight the legs. Gently feel. Don't force any of them. You don't want to strain your lower back. Wonderful. A deep inhalation. Bend the knees slowly. Sit back and take the arms up over the head. No, no, no releasing, no releasing the elbows. Of course, it's not fun if you release the elbows. Try to raise the elbows high over your head as you try to straighten and align the spine as you bend the knees and sit back. Good. Trying to align your arms, your bent elbows with the rest of your back. 
Inhale deep, exhale one. Inhale deep, exhale two. Don't sink too much. Yes, I know. You sink on purpose. <laughs> okay, so I have a trick for that. Bring the palms to the knees. And press into the knees, relax the arms, release them, and press into your knees. I want you to press with the palms against the knees as if you want to bring the knees toward each other. And I want you to push the knees out against the palms. And at the same time, I want you to press with the palms down on the knees to press the feet strongly into the ground. So we have a few action happening here. With the palms, you want to press the knees toward each other, as if you want to close the legs. With the legs, you resist. And at the same time, you press down into the knees with the palms, applying pressure as you want to bring the feet to the ground. I know it's a little complicated, but I'm sure we can do it. Roll the shoulders back, look up, and push your spine in. So much information in such a difficult stage situation. This is very interesting, but you are doing fine. Don't round the back and don't collapse. You see how it solves the, the height of the thighs? Right, it solves it? Wonderful. Keep breathing. If you didn't smile until now, now it's a good time to start because you're already stuck in this place. Breathe. Inhale deep, exhale one, keep sitting down, try to bring thighs about parallel to the ground, don't collapse. Yeah, we need legs, we need legs, you don't have legs and we need to bring some. Not bad, not bad. Three, no, I started to come for ten. Good, good. And slowly round the back, round the back as you come up to standing with the round back, round back, push. Round back, round back. Don't straight the legs first, but okay. Spread your arms to the side. Come up. No, no, no. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Spread the arms. Open the mouth. Close the eyes. Feel the feet into the ground and stay. Anatomy pose. Open the palms facing forward. Putting some distance for your armpit to breathe. As if you're putting a small tennis ball under your armpit. Keep the mouth softly open, the eyes softly closed. Feel the feet into the ground. Bend the knees slightly and tuck the tailbone gently in. Relaxing the lower back. Open the mouth and feel the flow of the energy through the body. After all the work we did on your upper back and chest, Strong stimulation of legs allows the energy to go up, so feel it rising up. Like a nice shower that comes from the earth, from the ground, through your body, and all the way up. Upside down shower. Very deep and slow. Give yourself these few moments to experience, to enjoy. Wonderful. Slowly, slowly we drop the chin to the chest and we go down vertebra by vertebra, sinking back down. Allowing the head to pull you down, releasing the arms and allowing the shoulders to roll forward and down as you try to feel how you go down vertebra by vertebra. Release the arms as you go down. Feel the difference between the arms and let the arms go, let them hang. When your mom and the body is hanging, you bend the knees, you bring the buttocks to the ground, you straight your legs out to Shavasana. Relaxation pose. Spreading the arms and the legs wide. Open the mouth and gently tuck the chin in. Feeling the weight of your body 
heavily sinking into the mat, into the ground, relax. Allow relaxation to happen. Relaxation, something quite remarkable. Anything in this material nature we can say, I had enough. From food to anything. Relaxation, we can never say, I had enough. I am relaxed enough. Infinite depth in space, door to a deep meditation, deeper and higher dimension of existence, of being, all through this amazing thing called relaxation. Relaxation is not like sleep. In relaxation, the energy flows throughout the body. You feel alive, but aware and peaceful. In sleep, the energy goes back into the body, away from the fingers and toes, the extremities of the body. In Chinese medicine, they say the blood goes back to the liver. Everything is closing in. Stay aware and relax, allowing your consciousness, your awareness, your energy, all the levels of your being to expand and grow. Inhale deeply. Inhale deeply, and with the exhalation, we slowly, slowly close the gap between the legs. We bend the knees and bring them to the chest with exhalation, and we hold behind the thighs behind the thighs, and then slowly hold behind the thighs, and pull yourself up to sitting, and then roll back, taking the legs over the head slowly as you can, and then sitting and rolling back. If to hold behind the thighs is too difficult, you can place the palms on the ground next to you, next to your hips, and then it will help you to roll back and forth as you push against the palm. You better, okay. Try to, okay, but distance from the wall. You need a lot of space. So go down, away from the wall. Yeah. And roll slowly on your back. Try gently, gently to feel any tension in the back and release it as you gently roll on it. Try to open the back of your neck as you try to take the legs gently, gently and comfortably as far as you can over your head. And then you come back and roll again to sitting. Gently, gently preparing your back and neck. Exhale when you go back, inhale when you come up to sitting.
take your time. The morning, usually the back and neck are more stiff than usual. So we need to prepare them, relax them, allow them to open. Wonderful. Next time we try to take the legs as far as you can comfortably over the head and you bring the palms to your back as support. And then interlock the fingers and stretch your arms out as you try to bring the forearms as close as you can to each other. And then bring the palms back to your back release and bring back good and then slowly bring the knees to the forehead and the heels to the buttocks with a deep inhalation pushing the knees up and push the knees up and then straight the legs up to the sky try to point with the toes and with every inhalation try to touch the sky this will help you to open a little bit more. Relax the face. And with inhalation to the belly, try to point and reach up gently. Wonderful. Exhale, try to relax a little bit. And inhale to the belly, try gently to point. If you feel too much stretch or effect on the neck, middle back or upper back, Release the posture back a little bit, moving the chest a little bit away from the chin, lowering the level of the legs down a little bit, until you find yourself in a comfortable place to breathe and relaxing. Shoulders stand. Sarvangan Sun. Breathe deep as you allow all the blood that we brought to the leg to flow back and down to your chest, helping the heart. It doesn't need to pull all this blood against power of gravity, allowing your back and chest to open, realigning the internal organs. A lot of many, many benefits to this beautiful queen of postures, shoulder stand. Try to breathe deeply and slowly to the belly and be comfortable in this position. Trying to maintain the alignment, and trying to feel or see the different lengths between your legs and try to align them. This is very important because it can really affect your pelvis and lower back. Good. Try to keep your head from turning to right or left. Leaning a little bit too much to your right. And so try to press a little bit more with your right arm and push the body toward the left. It won't turn, help to turn the pelvis. Yeah, let's move the head a little bit. Yeah, this is all the tension in the upper back will reflect in the shoulder stand. You feel the tension? Good. This is the first step of awareness. Breathe deep. How we solve all these problems and tension? First, by realizing them. First step. Keep the awareness in the body. Breathe 
to the belly. The important thing in asana is not to allow it to collapse. The longer you stay, the idea is you allow the energy to flow and it will hold your body. We need enough strength, but with flow of energy for the asana to happen. If there is too much weakness or stagnation, energy will not flow and there is not enough strength. The asana will, after some time, fall apart. This is important as you stay and you feel the asana falling apart, be aware to it because then you will realize where your body is stuck and where there is weakness in the body. So now that we are staying for a while, we start to see our weak points. The neck as the head turns to the side. And the way the pelvis is turning, the length of the legs, we start to lose the posture. So try to feel it. It's not good or bad. This is the body as it is, and we want to feel it, to learn it, to become aware to it. First step for yoga is to become aware through the body. Eventually, we'll become aware so much more to the union, to God, Whatever we want to call this state of being. But it begins with awareness to the body. Simple awareness to the body. Simple awareness, the difference in the body. Very nice. Slowly, slowly try to take the legs straight over the head. Very slowly, as you are careful on your lower back. Go as comfortable as you can. You can rest the knees slightly on your forehead if it's too much pressure on the lower back. And then interlock the fingers and stretch your arms out to the plow. Halasan. Try gently to open your chest. As you pull the arms, try to bring the shoulder blades in. Good. Soften the expression on your face. And try to breathe slow. I won't say breathe deep, but I say breathe slow. Fast breathing will bring us into stress. Breathe slow. Three more. Two more. One more. Wonderful. Slowly release. Bring the palms down to the ground as support. And go down vertebra by vertebra as slow as you can. Try to feel as you place vertebra by vertebra back down on the mat. Bring the feet to the ground and extend the arms over the head. Feet close together, knees close together, feet to the ground, bend the knees, bend the knees, feet to the ground, and arms extended over the head. Feet closer to the, heels closer to the buttocks. Slowly lower the knees to the left as you stretch the right arm. Don't bend the knees to the chest, just keep them as they were when they came down. Inhale, bring the knees back up. And exhale, lower the knees to the right as you slowly stretch the left arm. Stretch the left arm. Repeat a few more times in your own pace. Inhale, you bring the knees back up. Relax the arms and exhale, lower the knees to the left and stretch the right arm. Gently. Good. Inhale, bring the knees back. 
exhale to the right and stretch the left arm. Wonderful. Slowly bring the knees back, press into the feet and raise the buttocks up. Vertebra by vertebra. With the exhalation, bring the arms to the side and under your body, straight as possible. Roll the shoulders back and open the chest, palm facing down. On the ground, palm facing down, on the ground, facing down, on the ground, under the body as possible. And then rest down vertebra by vertebra on top of your arms. Try to keep the arms straight as possible. Good. Inhale, press into the elbows, arch your back. Lower back in, middle back in, upper back in as you come up on the elbows, but lift the head on the ground. Slowly to this variation of the fish pose, keep the knees bent. Out your back, lower back in, middle back in, upper back in, shoulder blades into your back, top of the head on the ground and breathe deeply into the belly and the chest. Lift the chest up with every inhalation. Try to feel everything we did in the upper back, including those twists with the shoulder blades into the back. And now disconnect the feet with the knees bent. Disconnect the feet a fracture of an inch off the ground as you try to press more with your buttocks against the back of your palms and try to lift the chest higher into the sky. Inhale deep up with the chest. Exhale one. Inhale deep up with the chest. Exhale two. Wonderful. Inhale deep up with the chest. Exhale three. Inhale deep. Exhale four. Inhale deep, exhale five, inhale, raise the head up, chin to chest, and exhale, round the back, go down vertebra by vertebra. Spread the arms and legs wide into Shavasana. Open the mouth, allow the low back to sink into the mat. Allowing the rib cage to sink into the mat. Allowing your arms and legs to disappear. Keep the mouth softly open as you spread wide. And relax. Allowing the relaxation to take place. To deepen. Stay aware. Or discover even deeper levels of awareness. Try to touch this awareness that is always there. Even when you are in a deep sleep. When you wake up, you know, I had no dream, I was in a deep sleep. Because there was awareness there. Touch that awareness that is there all the time. In all the states of your being, this awareness is there. Relaxation will allow you to sink into that awareness. To realize that you are this awareness. Unite with it. Yoga. Unite with this state of deep awareness. Infinite awareness. Your true nature. Sink into it. Let yourself go in.
Inhale deeply and with the exhalation slowly, slowly move the feet and the toes. Move the palms and the fingers. Inhale deeply and with the exhalation, slowly, slowly close the gap between the legs. And with a deep inhalation, extend the arms to the side and over the head. Deeply stretch. Slowly, slowly turn to the right side. And through the right side, we'll come up to sitting. Chin mudra, index finger and thumbs together, arms straight, resting on the knees. Getting your head into the sky and allow your base. Buttocks, thighs, knees, calf and feet to heavily sink into the ground. Breathing deeply and slowly into the belly, relax. I'd like to thank the teachers for the yoga from the east to the west. Thank you very much. A beautiful and peaceful day. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste.